is funny. What an amazing cliffhanger season finale. Very evident that there will be a season two, which I said and predicted highly likely that they would because it's HBO and they have pulled us into amazing writing and doing what they felt was this sort of remix from the comic books of the what ifs and how the world would keep going. Season two, there are so many foreshadowing moments in this episode. You have to watch it two or three times to catch them all usually with comic books right or superheroes there is lineage there is legacy so throughout this episode you have to remember we have beyond right beyond noticed her child and what she figured already was her child because she told lady true i'm your mother so we already know whoa we got somebody possibly smarter now than Lady True. Uh, because remember, in that scene, Angela, she takes cover for herself and runs off, leaving Beyond to fend for herself. Will there be this revenge-esque from Beyond? Because we know she survived because we, we see her in the cop patrol car being taken off. Where will she go? Who will take her in and protect her? Will it be Adrian? Will he use Beyond to his um, suffice? Because we know that a normal cop jail cell won't hold Adrian. He's too smart for that. He has too many things in his mind and too many connections everywhere not to get out of cop control or out of the hands of Agent Blake. That's nothing. That is small potatoes to Adrian. So they're leaving this lineage and this legacy of beyond. Will she be revengeful? revengeful? Of course. <laughs> she has a lot of spite. Um, why would she join on the side with Angela? She could. It's possible that she could do that. Um, but who would be the nemesis? Come on now. Um, but they could do either way. She could be good or she could be bad. But we do have a legacy here that is so smart, that knows everything that Lady True did. She knows the technology. She knows the story. She knows the truth. Season two is bountiful with so many plots. Foreshadowing number two, we have Topher, right? Who has been intrigued by this Sister Night vigilante costume. He seemed excited to see that, okay? Easter egg there. And what will he do with that? And he won't be by himself. He has his siblings there that are eventually going to grow up that will learn certain ways. I was about to say certain ways of the force. Am I ready for this new Star Wars movie? Oh, <laughs> may the force be with you. Let me keep going. I'm such a nerd. OK, let me stop. I'm trying to stay focused. But you get what I'm saying. We have that legacy, right? We got Topher and his siblings that could be all together fighting for something because just because you've gotten rid of a certain salt grain of white supremacists in that moment, now you have those people avenging 7th Calvary. And that doesn't mean that the system just destructs, there, destructs right there. We still have other things to deal with. Um, also, Agent Blake and Wade, now that we know Wade is Okie Minoki, um, are we developing a new Watchmen group? Will that pull Agent Blake out of being an agent? Will she be convinced to say, girl, put on that costume and get back to kicking some butt? Like, forget working for the FBI. Clearly, they probably got some stuff going on. Or will she be a mole within the FBI and straddle the fence and work both sides? Because that happens too, especially in comic books. Um, and Angela, 
if she does have this transfer of power, will she not be herself anymore? Um, because Dr. Manhattan, he wasn't himself. He was John, but not really. Um, so will that leave us with, she's not herself. Now Topher has to pick up the pieces in, in her legacy to keep that going. Um, that is the cliffhanger. Um, uh, but how would that change the main character? Will she have these powers and be able to obtain them? If she does have that, those powers, how long would it take her to learn how to control and understand and be, if will she be at different times in different parts of the world? Will she know how to control that? Will she know how to do that? That is, there is so much to keep going for a season two. I said in the other reviews, I don't see how they're going to bring season one to a close. There's so much that they can do with that. And it's HBO. Come on, uh, y'all. It's HBO. Cha-ching. Ch money. There is money to be made. <laughs> we can't just let it be a season one and epic like this and just stop. No, no, no. That wouldn't make any sense. Come on. Um, amazing series. Uh, I can't wait for season two. I can't wait to see what they have in store. But I must also say that I do like and enjoy how they summed up the last episode because it gave us closure to a lot of the things that have been going on throughout the season. I think a lot of people would have been pissed off if it would have ended in confusion. Like, well, what happened with this and what happened with that? They gave us closure just like a comic book, man, with uh, a a uh, uh, a bad guy, you know, uh, just like you know, Batman beat up one character, now we got another one coming, you know, the lady true, now somebody else, you know. So they gave us the closure that we needed with the episodes that we had. Because think about it, that was only nine episodes. The writing was absolutely spectacular because it allowed us to go in and out of time and all of these different time spaces and moments to where it didn't leave the audience confused. Um, the cinematography is cinematic excellence. That is something that you could go to the movies and watch. That's how amazing it was. Uh, what did you like about the series? I know some people tapped out after episode two and they were like, hey, this show is not for me. Me, I have a very broad eye in what I watch. It's very eclectic. I always give something a chance first, um, more than anything. Uh, so I actually really enjoyed this series. I'm going to dust my shoulder off a little bit because I said that I really thought that this series would be excellent looking at the director, looking at the writers and looking at the team of cinematographers that was on this team. A lot of people didn't give it a chance because, you know, we still have the same creators and developers from Lost and a lot of people who watched Lost, it left a bad taste in their mouth and they didn't want to even give this show a chance. They were like, I'm not watching that because he put us in this world and dervice with Lost. I'm not about to watch stuff and just, like, oh, it's the same thing over and loop and loop and loop to loop I get it but uh with everything you should always give somebody uh a chance uh to develop and grow and learn and um Miss Regina King I don't think she'd sign up for trash <laughs> she don't play that okay she got a lot of awards and saying don't give me don't give me mess okay uh she's a very seasoned crisp uh, crisp actress. So is everybody else. Cheers to all of the cheers to everybody on this cast that they are not rookies. Okay. Um, when you just do research of everybody that's on this cast, this is not their first rodeo, but I do love that they are doing more action. I do feel we will have more action. Um, in season two because season one was really just who's who what's what what's going on um, and I really feel season two is going to be more running explosion fighting I do I, I feel it I, I once you once they pull you in they pull that audience in and now we know who's who and what's what and what's going on oh it's about to be let's get ready to rumble it's gonna be some fighting I'm gonna be sitting on my couch just like this ready looking at it all <laughs> so you guys let me know what you thought. Um, as a human being, I try my best to, to sum up all the details as much as I can, to recap it as much as I can for you guys. Um, so please take it easy on me if I've, if I've mispronounced anything. I am from Texas and I try my best <laughs> to say things 
uh, accordingly as much as possible. Now, look, just because this show is over doesn't mean the channel is over. You know my slogan, when one show ends, another one takes its place. Get ready for January 2020. It is on and popping, y'all. We got so much more coming. We got Greenleaf. We have... I don't know if the card is starting, which is the Star Trek The Next Generation series. I don't know if that's going to be in January, but we have the Wu-Tang Clan coming. We have so much more that is coming, and I am ready. Let me know what you think. Subscribe. I don't know if you noticed, but I subscribe to whomever subscribes to me. And also the same goes for Instagram. Follow me at the same profile name, official bun underscore E. Leave those comments if you agree. If you disagree, you know I respond to everyone. One, if we agree or not. I can't wait for December 20th so I can see my Star Wars and I can't wait for everything else. Please make sure to, now I'm going to go see the movie Cats. If you've seen the review for that I did with Cats, you can already know I feel some type of way. I'll leave that link below, but I'm a movie reviewer. I'm a television show reviewer. I have to go see it and give my review. Um, but other than that, check that out. I'll leave the links below so you can see uh, my reaction to the trailer for Cats. And of course, I'm going to do a review of the Star Wars movie. And of course, it's Disney. So George Lucas, calm down. It's not the same. Um, but I'm still a Star Wars fan. I'm still going to go see it. Grew up on it gonna look at it whether it's garbage or not uh <laughs> so check that out you guys have a wonderful wonderful holiday make sure to hit that notification bell so you can see what i'm going to review and recap and what's coming up next we're still rolling we're still going and i can't wait for season two of to watchmen to appear you guys have a good one bye